Israeli tanks and bulldozers entered the Gaza industrial zone, which has not been in operation since 2007, near the Karni crossing in eastern Gaza, and destroyed factory buildings and storage facilities. The Karni industrial zone came to a standstill when Israel heavily restricted the passageways into and out of Gaza as part of its blockade of the territory. The buildings that were destroyed by Israel contained a variety of useful equipment and many types of goods which have now been damaged. The camera can show everyone what has happened here today. They have destroyed the equipment and the infrastructure. They came without any provocation. Israeli bulldozers and tanks also caused damage to a wastewater treatment facility in the area. The industrial zone near the now closed Karni crossing is less than a kilometer away from the border and was set up near the crossing to facilitate exports. The Karni crossing, which was one of two commercial crossings between Israel and the Gaza Strip, was closed permanently in March, leaving Kerm Shalom crossing as the only commercial crossing operating in Gaza. The industrial zone is located near a no-go zone that was enforced by Israel in 2008, and anyone who ventures inside risks being shot by the Israeli army. Israel continues to commit crimes against humanity and violate international law in Gaza. They say they want to expand the no-go zone. The Israeli military claims the operation was intended to raise buildings being used by Palestinian activists in the Gaza Strip to launch rockets. But business owners in the area say there was no firing of rockets by Palestinian activists in the area. Many here say that by destroying factories and storage facilities on the border with Gaza, Israel aims to expand the so-called buffer zone to further tighten the siege on Gaza. Ashraf Shannon, Press TV Gaza.